surprised Bryce. He returned to his house and gave up his own Pokemon collection as well as other cards he had stored. There's only about 10 of these in the world. Whoa. I found it. The rarest card in the world. Ancient Mew. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome to Vintage Pokemon Hunter Brothers, and today I'm going to drop the knowledge bomb on you guys. This is your guys right here. This is knowledge. Just like that, you're going to learn so much. Going down here, looking at these cards, these right here are three different Ancient Mew cards. Um, I believe there are five or six. We'll figure it out when we go through all this and I talk about all of them. But the very first Ancient Mew card that was released was this one right here. And looking at it next to these, hopefully you can kind of see a few differences. The biggest difference being the pattern. I hope it captures it, but it looks speckled. The holographic pattern looks speckled compared to this one where it has that kind of Cosmo thing where you see the swirls and then this is just all speckled. So that's the first That's the first way the, that you can tell. The, um, the second way and the biggest way um, you can tell that this is the first release and the air release is from the Nintendo right there. So during the first release, they had this speckle pattern. They also had that air. Now why this, um, this Nintendo air is kind of big is because when they first did the release, they didn't catch the air for a while. So they printed a whole bunch of these with this pattern with that Nintendo error. Later on, they corrected it. That'll be the, it'll have this pattern and I'll say Nintendo. Those ones are rarer than this corrected version. But after that, they release an Ancient Mew card, which collectors call the Ancient Mew 2, which is this one right here. So this is still released in Japan. And, which is weird, because there's, there's a few things people look at to see um, that, is, that it is uh, released in Japan. Because looking at this, you'd be like, that's Egyptian. <laughs> That ain't no Japanese, that's Egyptian. That ain't no American, that's Egyptian. No. So you're like, how can you tell that this is the Japanese release and that this is the English release? Which that always got me, right? I was like, okay, some people said the borders. Um, if you look around here, you can see that the borders are a lot thinner than on this one right here. This is the American release. It had the thick borders because you know us in America, we be thick. So yeah, thick borders right here. But the biggest way you can tell is down here, you see that it says Game Freak Inc. And it ends, okay? Now, if you know anything, you know that the earlier ones over here, we call Watsy because they were Wizards of the Coast. So in America, you'll see that our early cards say Wizards. So yes, it says Game Freak. Then it says 1999-2000 Wizards. It also has 95 comma 96 comma 98 comma 99 where this one has the whole thing spelt out 1995 1996 1998 but I mainly just look at wizards if it says wizards you know this is the English release you know this is the Japanese release now the one that I'm missing which I just put a bit on actually on eBay because I was getting more information for this video so hopefully I'm not gonna be missing it uh, missing it for long but yeah like we said the first one error speckled Japanese that one, it is worth a good amount. I'll probably put the price down here. The next one would be the speckled fixed one, which people say has the lowest printing out of all of them, which is, um, though a lot of the things that I showed were saying that this error and the other ones are usually worth about the same. Sometimes this one will go for more than that one. And then we have the English release. Oops, I messed all those up. English release, which is the big boy, big borders. Oh, they also say this has like more of a red tint, a red tinge, and this one has more of a blue tinge to the card. I don't know if you can see that. I can't really see it on the photos online. I can kind of tell. And you see the black stars um, are kind of kind of fuzzy in the Japanese ones. They're a lot darker in the American version ones. So yep, there's that. All right, so now there's also another release that came out in 2019. <laughs> 2019 with the remake of the movie. I showed this and then and, uh, and some other ones. So yeah, so if we check this card out, you see that it looks like, it looks speckled. So it has that speckled pattern and that's really cool. 
And then down here, it doesn't say Wizards, because we don't do Wizards anymore. And this one's in Japan, and it says 2019 Pokemon Nintendo Creatures. Well, that's interesting. It doesn't have any other dates, just 2019. Then Game Freak. So yeah, so that is that one. And then there was one other one, which I actually just uh, purchased on eBay. It is a Korean version that was released in uh, this year, 2020. That also, from what it looks like on the pictures, has that speckled pattern that the first one has. So we had the first release, which was the error. Um, we have the second release, which is still speckled but completed, which is said to be the smallest release. Then we had the Mew 2, which is still Mew, release in Japan. Then we have the English release, which is uh, the biggest release out of all of them, the English release. And then we have the remake, the 2019, and then we have the 2020 Korean version of the Mew card. And BAM! <laughs> That's a bunch of ancient Mew knowledge. And I hope you guys can understand because, because uh, yeah, this has been really confusing for me for a while, and I had to had to read a few things to to finally get it to click. But now I got it, <laughs> and now I hope you guys got it as well. So you can go on eBay, you can complete that ancient Mew collection by getting those cards because they are really awesome cards, and they are they are shooting up in price like crazy, kind of like everything is right now. But definitely some of the most beautiful cards, and that's what I know about it. If you know anything else about these cards. Feel free to let me know in the comments. Actually, if you know anything that you think I don't know about Pokemon cards, comment it down below and I'll go ahead and I'll reply I already know it because I already know it. <laughs> yeah, even if I don't know it, I'm just gonna say I know it. But no, it'll be cool. Yeah, if there's something about Pokemon cards that you feel that really needs to get out there, um, put it down in the comment section below and I might make a video about it as well. If I do some research, because this was a lot of fun. It's uh, it's really cool learning more about Pokemon cards. So you all have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching. Thank you for liking. Uh, like all those likes. Um, thank you for commenting. And if you're new to this channel, I hope you subscribe and uh, and yeah, see some more awesome content con content from myself. So y'all have a good one. Bye. Oh hey, you watched the whole video. Thank you so much. If you really enjoyed it. It'll be awesome if you want to watch some more of me and learn some cool things about Pokemon or watch me open up some packs. You can click on that video. And if you don't want to click on that video because it looks lame, <laughs> you can click on that video. That would be awesome too. Thank you so much. See ya. Bye.